Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm getting ready to do a puddle pour today and I am going to pour on a 12 by 24 canvas using all deco art metallics. I chose these colors from my new bathroom and my new home. The tile has some grays and rusty colors and the walls are gray and I've got accents of a uh, kind of aqua to green blue so I'm using multiple colors from that color palette as my inspiration and I'm going to veer away from my typical recipe today I'm inspired by Melly D she's someone I've followed for a couple of years now and so here are my beautiful colors uh, the only thing that does not have any metallic in it is that white there it is my one-to-one -one ratio of paint to flow trawl and water. None of these have OGX or silicone or anything added to it. This time I used Liquitex pouring medium. That's what Melly D uses. And I just added in my five ounce cups, maybe a tablespoon or two of Liquitex pouring medium to the five ounce cup and mixed it in and then added water to get it to the consistency that I needed and I'm, I want it pretty fluid because I am going to do a petal pour now in the smaller cups I might have added only a teaspoon or so of Liquitex pouring medium and then water but I did add a considerable amount of water to each of these as well because with the Liquitex pouring medium it seems to be a little bit on the thicker side so I'm just checking my consistencies here just to make sure that everything is really the way I want it and I've just got a bottle of water here just some of these have thickened up since I mixed them and I just want to make sure they're totally fluid I want them to be able to move around on the canvas pretty easily I'm doing a gallery wrapped canvas and I want the paint to flow over the edges and make sure I have plenty for the sides of the canvas as well. So I'm just again checking my consistency and I don't have to worry about stirring as much as I want because I don't have any OGX or silicone so there's the uh, pearl. This one is mink pearl. It's got a little bit of a pink cast to it. This one is Extreme Sheen Champagne Gold which is so lovely. That's really one of my favorites. This one is Peacock Pearl and this is the green metallic and what I did was I added some white pearl to both of these colors this one was a sage green and I added a little bit more of that green metallic to it to get it a little bit more towards an aqua green color so I didn't use straight peacock pearl or green for any of my colors this one is a mixture of the silver and the pewter and I wanted you to see the difference in how deep the pewter is and it's got a bluish cast almost to it it's one of my favorites of their metallics besides the 24 karat gold. The silver is very pale. It almost has a pearl effect when it dries. So I put some of the pewter into the silver to get that color in my cup. It's a little deeper than the silver that is straight out of the jar. This one was the uh, antique bronze and I added just a little bit of copper extreme sheen to it. The copper is very red and I didn't want that reddish tone so I mixed a little of the copper into the antique bronze color to get the color that I have in that cup. And then this one again like I said is just white mixed one-to-one -one with flow trawl and water so here's my 12 by 24 canvas again it's gallery wrapped and I'm going to just do puddle pours I 
I'm going to speed through this so that you don't have to watch me do all these puddles so slowly. They're quite lovely even just in the puddles, not even tilting that yet. I think the, the puddles are really cool looking. You get a little different effect from a tree ring pour because it's not a continual circle. So that's the difference in a puddle pour. And I decided to go ahead and put a little bit of white on the tops of these petals. Just to incorporate a little bit more white in there. My walls are gray, but below the chair rail is a white beaded board, so I want to incorporate white. And I'm just swishing through to break up some of the circular patterns. I had one side of the canvas that had, it was starting to run off, so I had it propped with popsicle sticks there to keep it all from running off. Here comes the fun part. Again, because these are all pearlized or metallic paints, I don't really expect cells and I didn't want cells on these. I wanted it to be more of a gradation abstract kind of feel to it. And I don't want the green, greenish color to be really strong, so I'm going to do some tilting to maneuver and get some of the green off. And I don't want huge areas of the copper color or the white either, so just uh, continually adjusting by tilting. Sometimes the camera doesn't do it justice. It, these colors really are lovely together, considering they're all metallics especially. They're quite lovely. It was a really pretty blend of colors. Prettier in person than what shows on the camera. And I'm just going to try to break up some of the areas that feel a little bit, you know, overkill, some of the larger white areas, that kind of thing. And I like to use a straw because it kind of breaks shapes up and it It'll kind of puddle back and make things look a little bit more um, haphazard. And I am doing a voiceover on this video. Um, my microphone batteries were low and therefore it, uh, it, there was no sound. And that's just what you call like an infusion or injection of color, just where you want. Instead of adding on top, you kind of push it underneath the paint a little bit. And then I'm just using my stick to make it look a little bit more random, not so contrived. So here is an up close version of it, just so you can see what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check on the bell on the bottom right to get notifications when I post new videos. 
check the links below my video where it says show more on your laptop or the down arrow on your mobile device. There's Amazon and PayPal, Patreon, um, my Facebook group if you want to come join me there. Post your pictures and make comments. We've got great artists in that group. And I'm going to save these beautiful drips for some jewelry and so forth. I love to save my paint drips and use them for other things. So I really hope you enjoyed this and I will see you on the next video.